Hey everybody, Dong here. In this video, I'm going to tell you how I wasted my time doing lead code. So, if you guys don't know about me, about a year ago I had a bunch of interviews like LinkedIn and TikTok and all that different type of stuff. And I basically, in a nutshell, failed those interviews uh, pretty badly, to say the least. So, naturally, my main thing was to focus on lead code, learning all the algorithms and stuff like that. But now if I think back on it, I realize that I wasted a lot of my time doing these algorithms because the problem is lead code is not really representative of what you're going to do on the job. It is necessary to get the job, but it's not necessary to actually be successful at the job. So naturally what I did was I invested a lot of my time. I invested weekends. I invested evenings. I invested mornings into just grinding lead code. Now the reason why I did this is because I got all hard problems on my uh, on my algorithm uh, interviews, right? So I thought I needed to be really, really good at lead code style interviews. Now, if I think back on it, I realized that this was a huge mistake. Now, the reason why I realized that was a huge mistake is because I could have spent that time learning actual concepts that I wanted to learn i.e. iOS concepts and stuff like that, and then going the take-home route, which I talked about in a previous video, and instead I did the whole lead code route, right? Because obviously I wanted to be at a big tech company and get those really, really high salaries, right? So if you're in that position, I would recommend that you uh, go back and really focus on getting really good at the concepts in your field of expertise, whether that's with web development, whether that's a mobile development, whether that's a backend development, you know, that's one of the big regrets that I had when I started to learn how to code. I wasted a lot of time. I wasted about a year. And, you know, even though I'm pretty good at algorithms now, even with the layoffs right now, it's been kind of useless, right? Because not a lot of companies are hiring. So, in a nutshell, you know, I haven't been able to put my lead code skills to use. If I went back in time and I was in the position that I am now, I would have really focused on, you know, studying those iOS concepts because I'm still doing iOS development, you know, working freelance right now. And that's really what I would have done if I were to go back in time, right? So basically, that's the reason why I wanted to make this short video here today is just to give you a PSA on what I would do if I were to go back. So what I do is I would... I uh, study those iOS concepts, I build interesting projects, I would get experience in a production level code base because that's going to be a lot better use of your time than studying these like lead code style problems. Now, if I got an interview, for example, then obviously I would start to brush up on my lead code skills, but what I realized that I did wrong was I was focusing too much on the hard problems and not you know, studying the concepts underneath it, right? Because here's the thing, you might get a hard problem, right? But the hard problem can be solved, right? The hard problem with enough hints from your interviewer will help you get to the point where you're actually coding something and showing some signs that you're a good developer, right? You don't have to know the answer from the get-go, but you need to, you know, accept these hints and make progress towards that goal. Right, And I think that if I approached lead code that way, then that would be a much more effective way than trying to solve all the hard problems and then bashing my head against the wall and putting my efforts into, you know, the more important stuff, learning those, uh, learning those iOS concepts, making sure I was able to build the important projects that would be valuable to the company, right? Because they're not hiring you for your lead code skills. They're hiring you to build a product for them that's going to make them revenue, right? If you put your energy in lead code, then that's not going to produce them any value. So you have to work on the things and get good at the things that are going to produce the company value. And then obviously after that, in order to get into the industry, then I would recommend that if I were to go back and do it all again, I'd just reject the uh, lead code style interviews or I'd go into them with very little expectations. Just study up on your basics like binary search and DFS and BFS and you know basic array two pointers and stuff like that. And then 
linked lists and stuff like that and just go for it, right? Don't put too much effort, just understand the base concepts and then put all your energy into doing those uh, important projects, making yourself valuable to a company and making sure you're competent at that and not lead code. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.